Hello, I am Walter Schneider from the University of Pittsburgh. I am the director of the 2009 IEEE International Conference on Data Mining, hosting the Pittsburgh Brain Competition on Brain Connectivity. In the competition, researchers will seek to segment the brain into fiber cables. You can get details on the competition at braincompetition.org and conference details at ICDM09. If you're watching this on YouTube, I suggest you turn on the HD format to see high resolution images. Your challenge is to map the cables of the human brain based on fiber data. On the left is an aircraft cable harness with drop points for different instruments. Wires combine into cables with terminating connectors to different points. On the right is a human brain cable, the arcuate fasciculus, that carries information such as language. The axon streamlines combine into tracks with drop points connecting to different structures. The data are high definition fiber tracking data. They're collected non-invasively on an MRI machine. We image the diffusion tracks of the fibers or axons and create fiber streamlines of the tracks uh, illustrating the effects at a millimeter spatial resolution. The brain connectivity challenge is to classify 300,000 streamlines into 20 to 50 fiber tracks automatically with high within and between brain reliability. On the left is a graphic showing the axon streamlines with colors indicating the direction of movement. On the right is the segmentation of the same data into fiber tracks by an expert neuroanatomist. The high definition uh, tracking uh, provides high quality fiber data. This shows three intersecting tracks. The white, the corpus callosum that connects the left and right hemispheres. The purple, the um, uh, corticospinal track w for motor control. And the red, the acute fasciculus that carries language information. Note the terminations uh, clustered in bundles allowing identification of the drop point and what tissue is contacted. The fibers follow the cortical mantle showing the undulations of the cortical mantle. The terminations show the interdigitation of the sources. These are movies showing the fi three fiber tracks in 3D. What we're going to do now is examine those tracks as we zoom in on a particular tract within that set, and you can see the interspersing of the fibers and the fiber crossings below. This is a representation of the eight major tracks coded by our expert with a color for each of the individual tracks. We'll now shift to tilting uh, this set of images and note the endpoints of the clusters of fibers at their edges. And at the top it looks almost like this is a diagram of a trace of the Broca area fibers within the arcuate fasciculus. The green fibers start from Broca's area and they travel to various sections of the temporal lobe conveying language related information. This illustrates the fine resolution of the individual fiber tracks. There are two different challenges in the competition. The first is a supervised learning challenge matching an expert track segmentation based on eight known tracks. The second, our unsupervised learning challenge, uh, segments a full brain accounting for 80% of the fibers into 20 to 50 tracks. In the supervised learning test one, we match the expert segmentation of tracks identifying the tracks based on your data mining method and seeing how well that matches the expert segmentation of the same tracks. In the unsupervised learning test 2a we do a within subject scan and determine how similar the fibers in your fiber tract are to an identified track reference fiber given the need to choose 20 to 50 reference fibers to account for 80% of the 300,000 fibers. The diagram 
shows um, fibers tra uh, colored as to their similarity to a sample reference track. Test 2B, unsupervised learning, is a within subject between scan. That is, can you map your reference fibers from scan 1 and predict on the same subject what the data will look like in scan 2. The between uh, subject agreement is test 2C. Looking at the data mining can, on one subject, can you map that to the two remaining subjects within the data set? The data you get uh, and must provide includes a set of six sets of about 300,000 streamlines providing the points of the fibers in normalized brain position. In addition, uh, you'll get the data on one brain where is identified for each fiber in which cable um, makes up one of those fiber tracks with the numbers 1 through 8 and 0 indicating not coded. In addition, the data you will send in will list the assignment of the brain tracks of six sets of fiber streamlines. For each brain, for each fiber, which cable is it in, zero indicating not coded, uh, up to 50 for the tracks, and those numbering scheme must be consistent across brains. Getting your scores on each metric, you'll see how you did relative to others. So you'll get your score reports for each of the metrics in our test battery. After the competition is done, you'll see how your score ranked relative to all the other entries on each metric. You'll be able to look at the methods descriptions of all the people that submitted the entries to perhaps learn from those that did better than you or to communicate to those who did or not so well on your method. In terms of awards, uh, we'll be giving two cash prizes of $2,000 each for Te the test one, matching of the expert, and test two, the within and be between subject segmentation. In addition, we'll have a brain map context crowd, context test crowd crown as a special offer if a group scores in the tops in both. We'll provide you the option to fly the team or a team member to Pittsburgh and have a full brain scan done of the fiber tracks and make that data available to the team and present it at the ICDM meeting. In addition, there will be board choice awards of particular meritocracy entries. The board reserves the right to alter uh, the awards depending on the nature of the submissions. For example, if submissions are extremely close in accuracy or if there are insufficient submissions. The major dates are listed uh, above. Uh, on September 14th, we'll release the training data, October 1, the full data sets, and the results are due on November 2nd. I note that this is an international competition. We expect entries from 20 countries. Um, we have uh, had previous competitions, and in the competition of June of this year, the Organization of Human Brain Mapping we had winners from Taiwan, the Netherlands, and the United States. You can go to the Brain Competition website and see the presentations of past winners. The information and sign up are available at braincompetition.org. Please log in and sign up so you can download the data. A YouTube tutorial will be available as well as readings on September 14th. At the website, you can get the rules for the competition, readings, links, and resources, and uh, discussion groups, plus data downloads and scoring tools. The Pittsburgh Brain Competition has long-term goals of advancing the mapping of the human brain and to find and highlight top new methods and groups. I hope you will be among them. Thank you.